He just can stop cause that boy is a fan But I ain't gon' act like I'm gifted for real Just talk on my head trying to get to a million They call me like him cause you make me some drugs And I cannot wait till I call me a deal And I switch the phone so they know I'm for real I never lie, I'm just keeping it true And I got some pain, I just hope that it is He keep talking down and that's how I reveal Bro in the wind, he almost got Paul Pulling his hand so he saw off the door Then I hear me gon' be stuck on the chalk And yeah, that's my girl, she playing her ball And I want it all, got that bag in the safe He talking too much, better stay his Yo, it's your boy Smokers YT, aka Sookman, K Milkman. We are back with another video today. We are explaining five things to expect with Jameis Winston. In. But before we start this video, if y'all don't like it, subscribe. 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 I'm waiting to. Yo, subscribe, yo. For real though, like and subscribe if you're new. But yo, let's get right into this video where the news just recently came out that Drew Brees is suffering from three fractured ribs on his left side and two on the right, and possibly more. Now, I'm expected for Brees to be out at least for two to three weeks, maybe four. But Brees recently just came out on his Instagram and said, Who that nation? I've got the best medical team in the world. We'll be back in no time soon. So, yo, hey, yo, stop playing my man Breeze, yo. But, yo, Sean Payton hasn't declared who is the official starting quarterback, although we know it's going to be Jameis Winston. But I've been seeing a lot of people not really believing in Jameis Winston because of one step, like multiple steps in the second half after Breeze getting injured. So let's put this in perspective. Where we had Teddy Bridgewater not coming in the game until the Rams game, where Drew Brees got injured in the first quarter and Teddy Bridgewater without a game plan that Sean Payton written up for him. Teddy Bridgewater went out there. He stinked it up a little bit, but he got some yards. But the next game with the Seahawks, Teddy Bridgewater went proceeded to have himself a good game. He saw a lot of check downs to Alvin Kamara, a little slant pass to Michael Thomas. We had a game plan for Teddy Bridgewater through in and through out after that Rams game, and we went on that little run. And plus, Teddy Bridgewater had less to work with. Teddy Bridgewater had an aging tag in, a very young Traquan, and the best receiver in the league in Michael Thomas. But I'm not going to compare how Teddy Bridgewater did it. I'm just saying that Sean Payton will have a game plan for Jameis Winston. And he's going to be behind one of the best offensive lines. And he's going to have himself some receivers. He has Deontay Harris. He has Marquez Callaway. He has Emmanuel Sanders. And he has Michael Thomas. But I believe there's going to be things, five things to expect with the new lineup change with Jameis Winston at quarterback. The first thing we're going to expect is less Taysom snaps, which is already obvious. Taysom Hill is going to get less snaps at the QB position. You're probably going to see him at the tight end getting some snaps at the tight end position or the wide receiver position, but Taysom Hill is going to get himself some less snaps. And the next one is a lot more of the run game. You're going to see a lot more of Alvin Kamara and Latavius Murray pounding the rock. Now, this is kind of funny because Sean Payton refuses to run the ball. <laughs> but, yo, we're going, to, we're going to see this. I know we're going to see a lot more of the run game. It's going to be more balanced as usual. But number three. I believe this defense will play out of its mind. Now, this defense is going to step up while the times Drew Brees is out. I mean, if you can look at last year, throughout those six games, if I believe not, this defense was playing literally the best defense. They're playing their best football. But I believe that this defense will step it up, especially with the new addition with Quan Alexander. And we have the secondary playing out to par. So let's see what this defense is going to do. But number two, we're going to see that the offense is going to be more versatile. Not saying that with Drew Brees it wasn't. I'm just saying you're going to see not a lot of deep balls, but you're going to see some deep balls. Just know that. You're still going to get your check downs with the Alvin Kamara's. You're still going to get your screens with the Deontay Harris's or whoever else. But you're going to see some rolling out the pocket with Jameis Winston. You're going to see this offense being more versatile. But number one, Jameis Winston is going to hold his own. Now, the only thing I have a problem with Jameis Winston is he likes to play hero ball too much, you know. You saw later in the game, he tried to be like, like during the pocket, just throw the ball away. But he, he, when he avoided the sacks, he, but he doesn't like to go down. Trust me. But I like that out of him. But it's going to cost us sometimes. But yeah. But as you know, let me know down in the comments. My man Drew Brees is in the chamber right now as we speak. 
So, <laughs> y'all let me know down in the comments. Do y'all think, y'all believe in Jameis Winston? Y'all think he's gonna make this amazing stretch? It's being Boy Smokers YT, and we always out here. Uh -huh. She keep on wasting my time